Have you ever wondered which country has the most unfaithful wives? Why are you taking my wife? The man in this desperate moment awarded nearly $9 million in an unusual court case to be paid by his wife's lover. Well, there has been some studies that helped with the information to that effect. And before we get into that, to be honest, in today's day and age, this is relatively normal in the 21st century. Before you come for me, let me explain. I mean, today we even have an online platform that encourages cheating and adultery in marriages, and one of them is the rise and fall of Ashley Madison, the infamous website promoting infidelity. See, Ashley Madison is a dating website that connects individuals who are married or in committed relationships but are looking or seeking extramarital affairs or casual encounters. I mean, the site was notorious for its slogan, Life is Short, Have an Affair. It was designed to facilitate secret connections between people looking for affairs. Now, the users can create profiles anonymously and search for potential partners based on various search criteria like age, location, and people's interest. Obviously, you know a site like that will face its fair share of criticism for the promotion of infidelity and the ethics surrounding its services. That is why in 2015, their websites were hacked and they were threatened to either shut down or face the release of all customer secret fantasies, their secrets, you know, photos, their, you know, real names and their addresses. Basically, they were threatened to close business or they will leak the information of everyone cheating in their marriages online. There was a month between when they announced the hack and when they had threatened to release the data. Clock's ticking. These hackers are threatening to make public some embarrassing, very personal details. Customers' sexual fantasies. This is not a site to share recipes. Now, you best believe that this data breach led to at least two suicides, many lost their jobs and their marriages. To this day, nobody has been charged in the hack. And the most interesting part of it all, they were able to work on their security breach. And Ashley Madison website is back into full force with several married people looking for dates and flings on the website. Now, a new survey from Indian TV news listed top nationalities of women who are prone to being unfaithful even who are married according to their countries. The survey also showcased how regardless of marital status or a committed relationship, most women still tend to be unfaithful. Now, the survey was conducted by Duress, and if you are wondering, yes, the condom manufacturer. A total number of 29,000 people in 36 countries were interviewed, and the interview ranked Nigerian women as the most unfaithful in the world. All in all, 50 to 65 percent of husbands and 40 to 55 percent of wives have an affair before they are 40. So, here are the top eight countries of the most unfaithful wives and the reasons why. Number eight, American women. 14 percent of married women in the United States admitted to having an affair once during their married life. Now, the interesting part is that 54% of the married men did not know about their wife's extramarital activities. Now, I'm not surprised because the American society, well, about 50% believe that adultery is morally wrong. But also in my research, about 61% of Americans believe that adultery should not be a crime. So I say that's a fair share. But let me know what you think and your opinion in the comment sections below. Moving on to number seven are French women. You see, about 16% of women in France are likely to commit adultery. Men are about 22% likely. And before you come for me, check out the Huffington Post article that believes that France makes adultery mandatory, which simply means that about 93% of the population is committing it. Now, I mean, the French see adultery as having many benefits, including keeping the marriage fresh, keeping the couple as sexually active as possible, and the freedom to do what one wants and with whom. Now, don't be overly judgmental. It is what it is. You can let me know what you think. Now, number six are Singaporean women. Duress established that 19% of women in Singapore are known to be unfaithful, and the men are known to have up to 16 sex partners. Now, I've never been to Singapore, which would be nice if any Singaporean here can confirm, but it will also explain why the country has about 19% of unfaithful women. Number five, Russian women. Now, have you heard of this notion that Russian women are known to be cheaters? Well, they say about 33% of Russian women cheat. According to my research, Russians don't even point accusing fingers at their daughter as per the person who kindles the affair. It also would seem that this issue of Russian women cheating has been a century-old tradition or occurrences. Now, number four are Malaysian women. 33% of Malaysians are known to have cheated and 39% of the women are known to betray their marriage vows. Now, on the other hand, Malaysian men have an average of about three sex partners as revealed by the survey. Now, moving on in number three are British women. Now, it's interesting because the country experiences a high rate of women cheating with older British women flying out to the Gambia in search for romantic relations with younger men. Now, I have a video on that that I'll link right up here. But a UNLV article on infidelity and extramarital affairs noted that Britain have cases at a rate of 42%. 
All right, we have Thai women in number two, and this is so because many husbands even allowed their wives to commit adultery. According to the survey, 59% of women living in Thailand admitted to cheating on their husbands, and it would seem that the rules on infidelity in Thailand seem more relaxed than they are in the West. And finally, the number one country with the most unfaithful wives, according to the direct survey, are Nigerian women. Africa has suffered. Now, according to the survey, 62% of Nigerian women are unfaithful. Amongst many stories in 2011, Ivelu Tola, Solomon, an Abuja socialite in Lagos, decided to ruin her 25-year marriage after having sex allegedly with a Lagos businessman, which became a huge scandal or big issue in Nigeria. Now, Senior Special Assistant to Delta State Governor Osai Ovie took to social media to speak about Nigerian women being unfaithful to their partners outside the country. As a matter of fact, he alleged that 90% of them do not consider such acts of unfaithfulness as an abomination in the foreign countries they find themselves. Now, according to him, Nigerian married women abroad don't see cheating as a taboo. And then he advised that Nigerian men should watch their wives outside the country because Nigerian women who live abroad think the culture that is holding them in Nigeria has stopped working once they go to abroad. I'm I'm one of the experts that they call to weigh in on <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, so yeah. I know what they're saying. People fill out forms, you know, have you done this? Have you done this? Men will talk more about cheating. Women usually keep it to themselves. It's more taboo. But in my private practice and among other therapists, we know that as many women, perhaps more, who knows the exact number of men or women who cheat, but they cheat. It's a human thing. It's a choice people make. Women have more to lose when they choose that. When men choose to cheat, they usually still love their wife very much, 56% of the time. When women cheat, that is not true. They are usually checked out of their marriage. And that's what makes it so vital to be able to open that discussion to women before they make that choice because when they make that choice, there's very little chance they will go back. Whereas if men choose to cheat, it's never a wise choice, but usually they can still work on their marriage and make it better and somehow rectify it. Anyway, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roy Heritage. I'm a traveler and explorer touring Ghana. Don't forget to drop me your comments. Tell me what you think about it. So if you agree with the list or you totally disagree, let's have a chat below in the comments section. And after then, I'll see you in the next one. Be safe and bye.